Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Magna and Sabic, and by Borg Warner, Bose, ETAS, and Gentex. Okay, Neil, what do we got here? We're in uh, like uh, uh, a buck of a car, but you, you've got uh, some controls and some screens that we're going to be looking at here. That's right. What are you going to show me? Oh, John, this is really cool stuff. So what we have here is a control system. We've got a camera and some infrared emitters actually behind the mirror glass and a la some laser projection systems and a camera up in the overhead console area. And we're going to walk you through a couple of new features that we've done for this year to help demonstrate how these sensing and camera systems can add value and feature content into a vehicle. So the first one I'll go into is just a two-dimensional system. So you can see on the screens, it's identified us into our seat positions and it's creating um, you know, body boxes around where we are with all of our key points, our elbows, our joints, in order to identify it. The thing I want to hit is I want to show you what happens if I get out of the vehicle and I'm going to set my wallet down. If I get out and drop my wallet, I'm going to put it into a mode that says, object left behind. So it's identifying my wallet. It's saying, here's what you've got. And then what it did is it identifies it and takes a picture and sends it to me and says, hey, you left this behind. So, so it sends it right to your phone. It sends it right to your phone. What we really like about that concept, and it's, it's, it's an object identification concept, but it helps people in ride sharing, autonomous vehicles. You get out, you forget something, it helps to get you information before it's too late and you try to chase it down for weeks. Yeah, now you gotta do this so that uh, when I can't find the TV remote on the couch <laughs> or my car keys. <laughs> That's exactly right. Now I need that everywhere in my house for That's everything right. I'm trying to find. So that was a new one that we added this year. Um, some other ones that we've done is some three-dimensional monitoring. So now what we're doing is using the laser dot projection system that's in the overhead area. We're projecting dots into the interior of the vehicle and we're creating a point cloud. And so what that cloud allows us to do is to get distance estimation and positional information from whatever is in that view. So now what I'll do is go to a view where it's distance from airbag. So using that point cloud information and cameras, we can now estimate how far you are away from where the airbag would deploy. So in my situation, it's I'm at 40 centimeters from the steering wheel. That's where my airbag would deploy. Mm -hmm. And as you move, it continues to change. So utilizing our, our company philosophy is utilize technology that's in the car and expand the capability and feature set to get greater value to the consumer and to our customers so that you know when they sell a vehicle, it's safe and people want to buy it and get that content. Um, so we've done one other one, which is new in here, is the communication side. We've talked before about selfie cams and uh, you know video conferencing capability in our Zoom world we are today. We added in this year a sentry mode, um, which is you know not uncommon today in the market for outside cameras looking around the vehicle. What we're doing is bringing in the interior cameras and the driver monitoring cameras into the interior to provide additional content. If there's motion, movement, something like that happens, you're able to use your phone, look into the interior of your vehicle and see what's going on. So we're extremely excited about utilization of these content and, and different technologies to really add value. Love all the technology that you're bringing into cars. And what, you, what I like best about it, very usable stuff. I mean, not technology for technology sake. You forgot your wallet, here's how you can cut the the glare of the sun with your sun visor. Good stuff. Neil, thanks so much. Yeah, John, appreciate it. Thank you very much.